So what happens in the real world, okay? You're in the space, 3200 CFM is coming in at 49 degrees. It's sunny out, it's hot, it's fully loaded, everybody's fine. What happens on the day when it's cooler outside, it's cloudy, there's not as many people in there, and it's still providing 49 degrees? Well, you're going to overcool the space, right? So what are the options if it's a constant volume system? You can turn the unit off, which doesn't dehumidify very well. You can change the CFM if you have the ability to. If it's a constant volume unit, the only other thing you could do is change the supplier temperature. So in our example here, we're using a chill water coil with a modulating valve, three-way valve or whatever. We're going to change the leaving air temperature so we don't overcool the space at part load condition. How do we know what temperature to provide? Well, we go back to our sensible heat equation. There is our sensible heat equation solving for supplier dry bulb. So what does the supplier have to be at this 0.7 SHR to achieve, you know, to not overcool the space, let's say it that way. So the supplier is, if you solve for this equation, is 58.4. Now, if we take that and put it in here, we plot it here, 58.4, and we go up to the saturation line, it gets us right here, okay? So now, where is that going to end up in our space? That temperature is entering, the air is entering the space at that temperature in that condition, where is the space going to be at? So we use our sensible heat ratio to determine that. So if we draw the SHR of 0.7, again, I'm drawing it through the index point, which is right here, just to get the slope, and it's 0.7 here. Now we move this SHR up to our condition here, and the resulting A prime is where we will end up in our space. Okay, so that right there, if you take anything away from this today, go back and watch this. That is the fundamental thing we see um, that's not captured very well in the HVAC community. It causes so many problems at part load, okay? Constant volume systems, modulating chill water valve, not really fully understanding what happens at part load. So you see it, what's the problem at A prime? Well, we're okay with our space temperature. We're 72 degrees, but look at our real, relative humidity. Now it's at 70% RH, which is at about oh, 60, you know, something dew point. Is that a problem or not? Maybe not in most applications. If it's a pharmaceutical job where you got to maintain specific tight tolerances, it could be a major, major problem. So anyway, just pay attention to that. Extremely important. And we talk about that a lot.